what crappies look like on size of camp. Every one of those right there is crappy. That place is stacked. All right, guys. So <clears throat> this question comes up a lot. Steven, please explain side scan. So here we go, guys. This is going to be a side scan for beginner's guide. Let's deep dive into what area you're seeing, what you're not seeing. Oh. So side scan. Let's get up here so you can see my face. Side scan. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you this one tip right at the beginning of the video. So smash the like button and subscribe so you can learn more about everything fishing. I'm giving you a second. You hit the like button. All right, cool. This is one thing if you don't know a lot about side scan. Side scan is essentially down scan. Doesn't make sense, does it? Okay, on side scan, I'm going to throw up a picture right here. So we're looking at a picture. We're not looking at me. The black areas under your boat is down scan. So a lot of people like to run side scan on top and down scan on bottom. But essentially, you're losing a lot of screen doing this. Now, when you see something that's right on these black lines, I'll post, I'll put an arrow to one now. If you're seeing something there, you can switch your unit to down scan and check that out a lot clearer and then back to side scan to have a bigger picture. Number one tip for beginner side scan people. Actually, when you click on a side scan video, they're going to go over their settings and all that jazz. Honestly, we're going to do that at the end of the video. That, that's not going to be the number one priority. I won't, because a lot of people click off the video before you get into that, the actual details that they need to hear. So, we're going to, that, that first tip honestly blew my mind whenever I figured it out. That what you're looking at on the middle of your screen is actually the down scan. So... Which, I mean, I'm, I'm hoping the, the pictures made that more clear. And I got a couple video reels that I'll play that'll kind of clear that up. But I wanted to explain how side scan works before you click off this video. And when I get my settings on my Helix 7 and all that. But essentially, the way side scan works is it shoots out a cone. All right. This cone is your down scan. That's why three in one transducers are able to work. It shoots out a cone, and there's your bottom. And when it hits the bottom, your down scan hits the bottom, it essentially goes out. So it's like this. And to better represent that, I watched a video a year or two ago when I first got side scanned and this explained it so well and I want to represent that for y'all today. So let's check this out. Here, we're going to represent these are rocks or fish on the side of the lake. This right here is going to be our boat path. So we're going to turn off the light, darken it up a little bit. Take a flashlight. This flashlight is the boat. So let me repeat that. The flashlight is the boat. So you're coming down. And this is how this beam works. Now, essentially, you're going to see this rock's face. And then you're going to see a bunch of shadows on your, on your side scan. So you're coming through. You see all these rocks. But behind them... All you see is a shadow. That's because it cannot see behind it. Now if you came over like this with down scan, you would be able to see. But essentially, you're coming out and you're only seeing what's the, the, the beam is going out towards. So like if you're looking at this rock pile right here, 
you're going to see all the tipsy tops, but whatever's behind them, you're not going to see. And that's why if you come right here, you see stuff. If you scan again, you're going to be like, wow, there's a bunch of stuff back there. So I'm hoping that clears something up with everybody. Because your beam's only going to show you the sides. Like, you're going to see this part of them. You're not going to see this part. And if there's fish behind rocks, you're not going to see them. But if there's fish suspended or on this side of the rock, you can see the white dots. So I hope that kind of clears up some of the confusion about why you're seeing the things you do on side scan. Like, why is it when I go on this track, you know, I can see this brush pile really good. I can see these rock piles really good. But if I come at it at a different angle, I'm seeing totally different stuff. Essentially, your bean is only going to show you so much. And that's why I highly recommend Mega Imaging. That's the sole reason I went with my Helix 7. It was the cheapest unit you could get with Mega Imaging. And being able to actually magnify what you're looking at is extremely helpful with identifying if you want to fish something or what's on the brush pile, what's on the rock piles, etc.